Today, we will walk through the process to automatically classify a point cloud. However, before a point cloud can be classified in Global Mapper, you will need to have the license for the optional LiDAR module. With the license in place and a point cloud loaded, navigate to the Automatic Classification toolbar and select the Automatic Ground Classification button. This button brings up the Automatic Classification of Ground Point setting windows, in which users can adjust the built-in settings based on the local terrain, the range of elevation values in the data set, user-defined preferences for filtering points prior to auto-classification, or known features in the landscape. This will help to optimize the output. When you've selected your settings, then click OK and initiate the process. If necessary, your next step will be to select the Auto-Classify Noise Points button. Identifying previously unclassified noise points will clean up the point cloud and improve further classification results. In this demonstration, the classification of noise points is not necessary. At this stage, the non-ground points, or points representing buildings, vegetation, and poles, are ready to be classified. In the LiDAR module, buildings and vegetation are classified together with the Auto Classify Buildings and Vegetation button. When selected, a settings window will appear and users can adjust the settings to suit the specific point cloud they are classifying. The Auto Classify Power Line and Pull Points button can automatically detect power lines and or pull-like objects in high-density LiDAR data. Similar to the other classification tools, this process looks for structures resembling power lines or poles based on user settings. Once you've classified your point cloud, you can begin analyzing it further. This may involve creating a terrain model or extracting vector features. However, it's also important to keep in mind that the auto classification process is not perfect and further work may need to be done on the point cloud. The LiDAR module has specialized tools for this eventuality, and the Blue Marble team is currently working on an upcoming video focused on the LiDAR QC process, so stay tuned. To learn more about the LiDAR module's automatic classification tools, please check out the Global Mapper Knowledge Base link below. And if you have any questions about the auto classify tools or have questions that we didn't answer today, please contact geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com.